When I tell you the girl's been looking for this, the girl has been looking for it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dresa. If you're new here, welcome. I know I told you guys that I am going to slow down on my shopping. However, I did promise you guys a collective haul video regarding all my home decor that I've been collecting over a period of a couple of months. So, if you like what you hear, please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And now we're going to get straight into the video. So the first item on the list is going to be this massive vase that I got from Home Goods, okay? This vase is a replica of one of those, I think it was in Pottery Barn, I'm not sure. So it's in this plaster material. It has this beautiful rope detailing. It reminds me more of like a Tuscan vessel. I did see this in two sizes. This was the smaller of the sizings. The other one was a little bit bigger. This one was $49.99 and I believe the bigger one was about $69.99 if I'm not mistaken. I love that it is in this white color because it is a beautiful canvas for if you wanted to paint it in a different color. Whatever color you desire, if you wanted to paint it, you'll be able to do so. I love the material and the texture of it and it's really a nice vessel. It's going to look beautiful on its own or you can add some branches to it. You can do quite a bit of things with that vessel and um, the durability of it is there as well. I'm so excited to style it so but on another note I know that we're well into the summer. Would you guys still want me to do a summer decorate with me video? Let me know in the comments. I don't know if it's too late. I think we're a couple of weeks into the summer and the stores are already throwing out fall decor. So let me know if you guys still want me to go ahead and do a summer decorate with me and I'll go ahead and get that out for you. But just let me know in the comments, girl. Okay, my next item is a hot commodity. Everybody's looking for it. Everybody's trying to find it. Everybody's um, stalking the websites for it. It's going to be this tabletop picture stand. Everybody has been looking for it. I mean, it's been sold out everywhere. I personally had ordered it probably, what, in February? And it's been on back order ever since. I canceled that order. And then when I found it on Michael's, I went ahead and just snagged it. It is this it's in this beautiful brownish iron material. The picture that you see is just a personal picture that I have. It actually comes with two glass pieces so that you can put a photo in between those glass pieces and just um, style it as so. But I do love that you can go ahead and add your own pictures to it. You can add a book to it as well. It is a beautiful display and it does give you that height that a lot of us may need when we're doing our styling in our home. So I love this item. Was it worth the wait? I think it was because it's just such a beautiful piece that you will have in your home for a long time. So yeah, I love how this looks. Let me know if you guys got your hands on it because I know a lot of people have been trying to get their hands on this and just had no luck. I did post it on my community page so if you're not following me make sure that you follow me so you can get some updates on my community page because I'm beginning to upload a lot more on that page so stay tuned for that. So the next item I got was this brass tin box that I actually got from World Market. Now, if you guys did not know, World Market is a store that curates a whole bunch of home decor, furniture, international goods, candies, some, t some foods, and they curate this um, store and highlight some artistries around the world. So, I went in there and I saw this tin box and I thought it was so adorable. I instantly thought that this would be cute on my console table as well as you could put it on a sidebar or sideboard table. And it comes with this little latch here and it opens up and it's just so darling. I thought it was so cute and 
it's a great way to add that brass uh, material, this metal material. It's always good to add different textures in your home if you're able to. And I thought that this with the etching was perfect. I think this was from India and it was only $20. So it was a good price for what you're getting because it does look very vintage. It looks, it looks very authentic in a, in a way so I really like this and I'm super happy that I got my hands on it to keep with the theme of the brass I did get this small a little bowl that is on a pedestal but it has this beautiful etching on it of a peacock and this is to be used as an instant bowl because it does have a little insert in the center where you can insert your incense. I thought these Palo Santo wood sticks would be so nice to just add in there and have it burning and then have the smoke just give off this beautiful atmosphere. So I really think that this is very cute and very affordable. This was only $6. And then the sticks I did get from Amazon. So yeah, so cute and affordable. Okay, so the next item I did get was these dual brass candlestick holders. It's for tapered candles. And it has the infamous tripod legs that I told you guys I am obsessed with. And I just thought that this was so gorgeous. I got this from At Home. I believe it is a dupe for the McGee and Coles candlestick holders that she has on her website. And I really think that this is so nice because it obviously is in brass. I think that this also gives height. You can design or style it on its own or obviously you can use candlesticks in it. I like the look of the shorter candlesticks nowadays. It is very well crafted. $20 for this. Yeah, this is very much a keeper. I really love it and I will leave the link below um, if I'm able to find it online. So the next item we have on the list are these table candlesticks. And when I say these are so cute. I got these from Home Goods for only $6. And they're unscented and it comes obviously in a set and what gravitated me towards it was the actual wax of it. I don't know if you can see, but this wax is more translucent than you would typically see the more opaque, you know, wax sticks or um, wax. This was more translucent. It just gives off a more authentic, you know, you made it yourself type of look. It is actually hand poured candle. I guess it is authentic. But I thought these were so cute to the point that I got another one in a different color. So uh, both of these are very nice to add to your home. They're neutral and also have that more fall like color to it because, you know, fall is coming up and taupe and creams is a great way to add to your home um, when you're decorating for fall but it's also universal year round and it's so cute and look it has a little you can tell look at this this is so cute the next item i have is going to be this brownish marble dish I mean, it is so beautiful. It has a low profile. I got this from H&M, and I just really thought this looked so high-end. It is absolutely a gorgeous piece. It comes with some feet, so some rubber feet, so that it doesn't scratch the furniture. I purposely got this piece for my dresser in my bedroom because I am remaking that over, and you guys are going to see it fairly soon fairly soon but i love the way it looks and it's going to look wonderful off of the lighter color um, furniture but this was so nice and it was surprisingly bigger than what i expected i thought it was going to be a little bit smaller but this is my hand and this is the item i really think that this is this looks more expensive than it actually was I believe this was only $30 
I will put it up on the screen if I can find it. But I believe it was only $30. So it's very inexpensive and a great piece to have. So let's go to uh, Zara Boo. Zara is my girl, but she be expensive, okay? She is very aesthetically pleasing, very nice on the eyes, and she loves to break the coins. But I did get a couple of items on there that was not very expensive and really elevates your space. I got this body wash set and I got it in the dark amber. If you know me, I love a good dark and amber. I also got it in the cream and then I also got a smaller version of the bigger ones. I really love the packaging, how sleek and simple it is. It will look so nice you know, paired on your vanity in your bathroom. And it actually smells good and it's very soft on the hands. The next item I got was this beautiful linen throw decorative pillowcase. And this I got from Zara and it is in this linen material. I think it's a linen and cotton blend, but it's in this wrinkled, relaxed material and it is so nice i really thought that this would be so nice on like an accent table or my linked olive atelier bench that would go very nicely with this it's actually an 18 by 18. it also has like a zipper enclosure so you can easily access your pillow insert so i really thought that this would go great on any piece of furniture that i have and this black piping is what got me because it just has a beautiful silhouette to it this item was actually running for 49.90 you know I didn't pay that for it. That is ridiculous for a pillowcase. I believe I only paid $10 for it. So it was actually a great deal as it was on clearance. But I found this and I was stoked. You know when you find something that you love, you always find a dupe to it as well. So I also found the same very fairly similar but i found the similar pillowcase um from h m now the difference between this one and the other one is that this is a little bit bigger it is a 20 by 20 as well as the fabric is more of an elegant like it this one is i feel is truly linen it um once you iron out these creases it just gives off a more elegant look than the Zara one. The Zara one is a little bit more relaxed as it has the more wrinkled fabric. So this one is a little bit more relaxed and the H&M one is a little bit more elegant and sharp. You will see at the edge of it, it's more squared off. And then with the Zara one, it's more beveled or curved. So there is a difference. And I would say I prefer the H&M better. Um, but I will, I kind of forgot how much I paid for it. I thought that this was a great item for the value. And yes, I bought two of these as well. You guys, if you guys hear my neighbor mowing his lawn, I tried to hold off on doing this video until homeboy was done. But he's not done. So, next item I have is this beige throw that I got from Ikea. It's called the San Broad. Here's the information for it. And yeah, this is absolutely so cute. I have this on my sofa. Now, it is quite big. But I don't think this is big enough for your bed. I think this is more um, suitable for your sofa. And when I tell you, we keep the house fairly cold. And this warms me up when we snuggled up watching a movie. And I really love it. I really love it. And with the upcoming fall colder months, this is going to be a staple so look at the texture of it it's really got that organic look to it 
And I what I would say is if you have pets, I probably would not recommend this only because it does snag very easily. And obviously with pets in their claws, it may get ruined. It's your personal preference. But I think that this is such a stunning blanket and I am happy with this purchase. So we're heading back over to Zara and I got this a little vessel. I've had my eye on this vessel for quite some time because of the texture of it. And I love the different tones of cream and beige it had. I really thought that with this being smaller that it will go on more of like a nightstand type ordeal. And I love the creamy, the creaminess of it. So as you can see, the texture is it's kind of like a spackle. And I believe it is a terracotta if I'm not mistaken, but I thought that it was a great size for my nightstand or um, on one of the smaller accent tables that I have. You could put it on your elm stool. It's very simplistic and um, simple and I just really like the style of it. So yeah, let me show you guys this alabaster tray. I love the material of it. I don't I think I have anything in alabaster, but I love the low profile tray. Now this was, this was $25, which is kind of pricey for such a small tray. But like I told you guys before, it's best to get your trays in the back section of home goods because it's cheaper. I believe this was in the home accent section. So it was a little bit more pricey, but I don't have anything like this. And um, up against a nice dark wood table, desk, whatnot would be really nice. So I thought this would be a little great little detail to my collection. Yeah, I just thought this was cute. I wanted to show you guys. So the next thing I have are these dish towels from Ikea. These are stunning because it has this kind of more of like a Turkish look to it. It looks like it can be very costly in a way. It also has these hooks so that you can hang them wherever you please. And yeah, it just gives off that. If you're going for the organic modern, this is one of the organic modern kind of kind of staples that you typically go for. This is what it's called. And that is the search number. So it comes in a set of two. And the next pair comes in a set of two as well, but it is in this more of a solid color. And the pattern is on the edge with this nice beautiful stripe these are so useful in your kitchen and very affordable for what you're getting you're getting two for the price of one typically on etsy they uh mark up the price because turkish dish towels are in they're very effortless and just give off that authentic look but you get this from ikea for roughly the same price so Thought these were a great deal and you can go ahead and pick those up too. Something else that I wanted to show you guys was fairly simple and this was this black slate stone. I was considering putting that block um, dish soap that I told you guys in my last video. I was considering putting it on this being that it's black and it will contrast against the soap and it was only eight dollars from world market next thing i got was this bowl this bowl i got for clearance twelve dollars at your good old home goods and i really just like the white wash of the wood it is classified as a salad bowl but i cannot see putting a salad in here i just feel like the wood is not sealed it says it's for dry food use only so i don't think it would be smart to put a salad in here, but I was considering using this as a fruit bowl. Great addition to the house. So in my prior videos, I told you guys that I've been collecting vintage wood stamps and I have been using it 
as decor pieces. I did tell you about the seller that I got these from. Um, I'll put the name on the screen. So these wooden stamps are vintage and therefore they're basically for block printing. Now I did show you guys some of my pillows that I recently gotten from Instagram and these those pillows were actually block printed pillows. So what they do is just get these wooden um, wooden stamp like structures put the paint on it and just stamp the fabric each stamp has its own unique look and this one ah uh, this one is one of my favorites it has this cute detailing it's just like this geometric it just has its own little vibe i think it's so unique to have these in because no one's gonna have the same one that you have well it's expected supposedly no one's gonna have the same one that you have being that they are vintage and so so aged it's just so unique and it just like i wonder what the story is about it but and then i got this one which is a little bit longer and i thought it would be good to get different types of shapes lengths widths um, height just so that it can give that dimension when I put them all together then I'm not gonna buy anymore because I think I'm good with the three that I have I did find this cute little miniature picture frame and the frame is in this beautiful bronze type color and has the beautiful etching on the sides coming down the border of it i really love it because it looked it looked aged now the picture is just of a flower you can replace that but i just love the look of it and adding this to your nightstand or something with a, a high profile just adding this on a bookshelf or anything like that so we're moving on and going back to home goods this basket that i found was so cute now i was not expecting to find something like this i wasn't looking for anything like this but i thought that this basket was perfect for towels you could put towels in here in like a guest bathroom and the shallowness the shallowness and then the floppiness of it I really thought was nice. You can use this as a laundry basket as well if that's your vibe. But I thought that this was so nice. It was only $14.99. It is in this thick wicker material and it just looked so nice. I love the tones. It has this darker at the top and then it gets lighter at the bottom but it really looks very organic and I just thought that this would be beautiful in a bathroom with white towels stacked on it and I may put this in the living room with some blankets cascading down it I really think that this is such a nice piece and it looks very good based off of some prices that I've seen for a basket like this. So my sister is getting married and I plan on doing like a mock tablescape. I am in charge of the bridal shower and I plan on doing a tablescape for her. So I bought these glasses, these wine glasses that I got from Home Goods. Now, I being that home goods, you're not able to um, link things. I did find these on Amazon, which I will link below. But I did love the silhouette of it. It just gives off a more classic, timeless, and romantic um, vibe, and which is the vibe that I'm going for. It came in a set of six. The stem and the detail of the glass is gorgeous. I mean, and it was only $20. I am happy with this purchase. I know I am late to the game, but I am not a coffee drinker. Iced coffee, hot coffee, I'm not a coffee drinker. I can drink some cocoa. But time and time again, I will make some protein shakes. So I know all the girlies know about this glass. 
This is the glass that is shaped like a Coca-Cola can and it is it's just the aesthetics of the aesthetics okay the girls are pouring their iced coffee in this and drizzling all their cream and the, it's, it's a whole vibe when you see it on instagram but i thought i would get the same or similar effect as the girlies so i don't know it holds 20 ounces so i thought that was doable i foresee me using it guys let me know if you like these so the studio mcgee collection came out for the fall and i did have a look at it online but the only item that i saw that i really liked was that black knot that is really cute i know that they had a bronze knot in their prior collections but I really did like that black knot, so I may consider getting that. The only thing I got was this clear amber vase. And look, you can already see from the background how stinking cute is this. It's called the High Diamond Pedestal Vase. For only $15. I really love the light amber. So it has like a tint to the glass, but it's very subtle, very slight, and the this dimension of the veil. Oh, that is so cute. So uh, this will be so nice. Obviously, it's glass, so you can put your real florals in here. Some white roses. Look at that. Or look, mm, some pink roses. Pink roses is cute, but white roses will look so good with it. Let me know if you love this. So you guys, I think that is it for today's video. I really enjoyed this haul, like really. I think I have some great stuff. Now this is stuff that I've collected over quite some time, so it's not something that I just bought. I mean, some of the stuff I just bought but um other items i have collected over time but i'm gonna go ahead and link everything that i'm able to link in the description bar below you guys also let me know if you want me to do a summer decorate with me i have some exciting videos coming up so please do not forget to subscribe like this video comment what you guys want to see next and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye